take one part mystery, one part historical fiction, and one part girl power, and what do you get? The answer is this week's pick. In 1906, most girls weren't allowed to dream, or if they did dream, it was probably about finding a husband. But in Deadly, main character Prudence dares to dream differently, which is what sets her story in motion. At 16, Prudence has already seen a lot. Her brother died a gruesome death, her father is missing, and her mother is a midwife. So the issues of life and death are sort of in Prudence's blood, which is why the unusual job she lands as assistant to an epidemiologist working for the Department of Health and Sanitation proves to be exactly the fulfillment of Prudence's dreams. Soon, Prudence is caught up in the mystery of the disease that's sweeping New York City and struggling with the ethics of the effort to contain it. Deadly isn't for everyone. It definitely has an ick factor resulting from the medical details. And in spite of being billed as a mystery, that aspect of the book left me unsatisfied. Still, if you're a diehard fan, no pun intended, of historical fiction, especially historical fiction featuring a curious independent female protagonist, you'll most likely find Deadly a lively read.